Hi, I'm Liz and I'm going to show you how to make heart cupcakes. First I'm going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Now I'm going to boil some water. First we're going to make our sheet cakes to cut our hearts out from. So we're going to take all of our ingredients, put them in the sand mixer all at once. We have two cups of sugar, two cups of all-purpose flour, two-thirds cup of cocoa powder, vegetable oil, baking powder, baking soda, salt, vanilla, two eggs, cup of buttermilk. So now I'm going to take the water off the heat and I'm going to add it to this bowl I have over here. And to that I'm going to add my espresso powder. And now you can mix the water and powder together until they dissolve. Since this bowl is really hot, I'm going to use an oven mitt to transfer the espresso powder and water to the mixing bowl. And then mix on high for about two minutes. I'm going to spray non-stick spray onto my pan, being sure to get the size. So now I'm pouring the cake batter into my pan, and I'm making sure to only do a very small amount because I don't want it to rise too much. Now I'm going to put this in the oven for about 20 minutes. Now that the chocolate cake's in the oven, I'm going to start with a yellow cake batter for the cupcake. I have my medium bowl here and I'm going to add my dry ingredients. Four cups of cake flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, and one teaspoon table salt. I'm going to add two cups of sugar with my two sticks of butter. Mix them together on high until they're light and fluffy. Next I'm going to add my eggs one at a time while the mixture is still going. Next I'm going to add the vanilla and the buttermilk. First I'll add the vanilla in. I'm adding the buttermilk all at once. It'll have kind of a funny texture, but don't worry about it. Now I'm going to add my dry ingredients in three steps. First I'm going to add about a third. And mix this together. And I'm stopping in between each addition so the flour doesn't go flying everywhere. And here's the last of it. Now that we have our yellow cake batter done, we're going to set this aside and we're going to get our chocolate cake ready to go. Right now this cake is really hot, so we're going to let it cool before we start to cut it, and I sometimes speed up this process by putting it in the freezer or fridge. My chocolate cake is cool now. It's been cooling for about 45 minutes, so we're ready to invert it and cut it into heart shapes. I'm going to put my cutting board on top of the cake, and grabbing both sides, I'm going to flip it over. So I find it easiest to use a knife, but you can also use a cookie cutter if you have one that's small. First I'm just going to cut a strip of this cake out and from here I'm going to cut it into a heart shape and I'm making sure that it's not wider or taller than my cupcake liner. So this should work. I'm going to start by putting some of my vanilla batter into my cupcake liners and next I'm just going to push the chocolate heart right into the middle. And next I'm just going to put a little bit on top, and it's okay if it's not completely covered. It should rise while it's baking. So when we cut into these cupcakes, we want to make sure that we actually see the heart. But the way I make sure to do that is by putting a little spot of food dye in the spots where I want to cut the cake through. And I know later after it's baked and frosted that I'm going to cut through those two lines. Now we're ready to bake these for 20 minutes at 350. And now that these are out of the oven, we're going to let them cool. And while they're cooling, we can make the frosting. Now I'm going to add the mascarpone, sugar, vanilla, and brandy into a bowl. Next, I'm going to add my heavy cream to the sand mixer and mix it on high speed until it holds firm peaks. First we're going to take about a quarter of our whipped cream and we're going to mix it in. And next we're going to add the rest of our whipped cream in. And we're just going to mix it really gently. Here I have two tablespoons of water boiling and soon I'm going to add the espresso powder to it. Depending on how you want this to taste, you don't have to add all of it, but I'm going to add about three quarters of it. And then go ahead and mix this all the way in. And now we're at the fun part, which is frosting the cupcakes. I'm 
I'm Liz and that's how I make heart cupcakes. Thank you.